Hey guys, welcome back. And today we have my white camera collection, so I came to grab them. We're gonna just chat about them. So let's grab the bags, coffee, and sit down. So here we have the first two. This is my puppy bag and my picata. I'm gonna take them to the living room so we can sit down there with a the camera, proper lighting and everything. So I'm gonna start putting them here. Here we have other two. Here's my mini Kelly and my white classic flap. And here are the last two, my Lady Dior and my 19 bag. I'm aware that these are six bags. It is what it is. So this is it. Let's sit down and talk about them. Okay, so we're here. I brought the six bags with me. It's crazy to think that a few years ago, I was completely terrified about white handbags. Like I remember the first time that I wanted one and I put it on my wish list. I would say 2018 and everyone would tell me no. White bags tend to yellow. White bags stain very easy. White bags will get color transfer. And they're so hard to take care of. So I was like, no, I'm gonna stay away from white bags. And that's what I did for a good time. And then I got the first one, then the second one, one and then I'm here. It's not that I was like, oh, I want to have so many white bags. No, this was more like I love the style of a certain bag and the color that I ended up liking the most, it was white. So now I have many white bags. So I wanted to make this video to round up a little bit the colors, compare the shades that were on tier on each. Just kind of talk about white handbags because I feel like they have become a little bit more popular lately than they used to be a couple of years ago. People are starting to lose a little bit the fear like I see more white bags out there and if I have any more white bags on my wish list so this is just for fun so I want to start with Dior and these are the two bags that I have from Dior this is my Bobby bag and this is the Lady Dior so first the Bobby bag this bag I got it on a trip to Houston or was it Dallas I think this was in Dallas so I had been wanting a Bobby bag for a while like I just really love the style and I went into the store and they had this one in many different shades like they had it in black in browns beiges blues and everything but when I saw the white one like this kind of like latte color I just fell in love with it so I, I did it and I bought it it's great it's a bag that I use so so much I love it it's so so practical it doesn't really fit my phone because the opening is not the most practical thing in the world but anyway so this is with gold hardware and it has this little pocket on the back and yep absolute no color transfer it's been amazing the hardware has been wearing great I feel like the bobby bag besides the fact that it has the weird shape on the buckle i think it's such a great bag this was not the first white bag but definitely incremented my love for it on the back it says 30 montane it has the strap inside with one pocket and suede on the inside now this lady dior i got it from season to consign when i went to miami i saw this bag and i fell in love with it and it's in the ultra matte this is the mini size i have individual reviews for each of these bags so this is not gonna be very in-depth so you want to see that i'm gonna link every single video unboxing and review of them in case you're interested this one is a little bit of a different story i have seen a little bit of wear and tear on this because the leather is different since it's a little bit matte i feel like it attracts a little more of makeup and dirt i have considered putting some tweedies on the handles and i got this back pre-loved so it already came with its stains and wear and tear which i'm fine like if you know me i think bags are meant to be used and if you can save a little bit for a pre-loved bag that has maybe a little scratch maybe something little that you can live with it's fine for me so this is it and this bag made me fall in love with Dior way more than I used to I feel a little bit more transitioning from Chanel to Dior because they have so much to offer the other day I went to the boutique and they had these three bags I would be open to getting another Lady Dior especially like in a whitish color I know I'm crazy they're similar but they're a little bit different it has been easy to clean so I usually use baby wipes when I see like any type of dirt makeup or anything on the bag and it goes away super fast i'm not as worried as i used to be about white bags because baby wipes go a very long way next i'm going with chanel this is my beloved oreo tweet 19 bag we call it oreo because it kind of looks like cookies and cream in some way this is the one that i take care the most because it's tweed and not leather so it's not that easy to clean it if something like coffee spills not that it's gonna happen like i'm very very careful but if anything has were to happen to this it'd be way harder to get it cleaned this one when i saw it drop i think it was like pre-fall 
fall or something. I'm not sure right now. So this bag, I use it a little bit more during fall and winter, but I love this bag. I think it's the most beautiful thing ever and I would never sell it. This is the inside and it has like this sort of like beige inside with here I have the receipt and everything. This bag was so hard to find when it got released. I love that it has a massive back pocket on the back and it's so comfortable crossbody. It's just like a little teddy bear. I really love this bag and it has the contrast in hardwares, but yeah, with this one you need to be a little bit careful. This bag is without a doubt one of my most used bags of last year and this is my Chanel classic flap in the small size. Oh, I forgot to say, my 19 bag is also in the small size. So this is in the small size, not medium, and it's in champagne gold hardware, which is like an in-between silver and gold. I really like it because depending of the light and also like the outfit, it just looks a little bit different. It's my favorite hardware from Chanel. And I initially wanted this bag in lambskin, but I ended up getting it in caviar and I'm kind I'm glad that I did because this bag has been subject of color transfer, um, stains, different colors, like I don't know. It's been through a lot because I use it so so much and I try to like just enjoy my bags and live, not really worry about it a lot because if you just use occasionally your bags and you're always scared around them, you're not actually enjoying owning them. I definitely wouldn't recommend you to wear these bags with dark clothing but I sometimes do. If I'm gonna use it, I always have like baby wipes on hand and you just wear it off and you can always try to avoid that like back and forth between the clothing and the bag but it's a white bag it's gonna show the dirt it's gonna show the makeup it's gonna show everything you just have to be careful and try to clean it often and also be a little bit mindful like i'm not crazy i'm not gonna wear this with denim or a new black coat because the newest the clothing piece is the most color transfer it will give depends the quality of the clothing too but once you have washed something many many times chances are that it's not gonna give it off but if you can try to use it with lighter outfits even so this bag always makes everything look amazing i love wearing it crossbody i don't know i just feel like it pops a lot white has become my favorite color for handbags this has been amazing and so far no wear and tear the last two are Hermes, and this is my picota in nata and this is the picota in the 18 size with palladium hardware and this is my mini kelly in claire also with palladium hardware i think for the lighting you can see a little bit of difference but i'm gonna try to include videos of the bags with the phone under the sun or something more natural but claire is a little bit more like I would say grayish and Nata is a little bit more like yellowish. Also, the leather is different because the Mini Kelly is in Epsom and the Picota is in Clemence. So Clemence is a little bit more of a softer leather. The grains are bigger. The bag is like more squishy. It's softer. And this bag, I do have an organizer inside from Samorga. So shout out to Samorga. And I have here my gel. So this bag fits a lot, but it's definitely not a structured bag. And I really love this one. I got it from Luxury Promise over a year ago. And and I love it so much. This is such a cute summer bag. Like I usually don't like bucket bags, but I definitely do like this one. It's really, really pretty. And the newest one, the one that takes the spotlight. I've been loving it so much lately. It's my mini Kelly and it's in Claire, which is a little bit more like grayish with palladium hardware in Epsom leather, which makes it very, very structured. So this bag is stunning. It has the white stitching, same as this one. And this bag has a crossbody strap, which makes it great. Honestly, this bag, since the day that I unboxed it, it's the one that I've been using the most. I rarely change out of it. And if I do, it's just because I'm wearing like um, something that I'm worried that it's gonna give it color transfer. So I'm still in that stage where I'm worried about giving the back color transfer, but for now, I think we're fine. It's perfect. I love this bag so much. It's so convenient because it's so small and it's also crossbody. So I can put it underneath my coat, underneath my jacket, blazer, whatever I'm wearing. And I feel very safe walking around with it. So I do feel like it's gonna be great as a travel bag. And right now it's probably my favorite bag in my collection, but this always happens when I add something new. You can see a little bit like the color side by side. Hope it's helpful, but yeah. But this has been the best thing ever. The strap is a little bit short. So I plan to do a full review on this bag. Maybe let me know in the comments if you want a mini Kelly review alone or you want a mini Kelly versus Kelly 25 or mini Kelly versus any other bag. Just let me know. But this is the back crossbody. For me, it's a decent drop, but I'm very, very short because I can also use the classic flop crossbody. But I know that you, if you make special order, you can actually ask for a longer strap. So if you ask me if I would get more white bags, the answer is probably yes. But I think I only have one in mind. 
and it would probably be a special order if I ever get the opportunity. Not that I think that I'm gonna get it, to be honest. Nothing that I have on my priority list, but if it happens, it would be amazing. I would love a bag in Cré or Nata in Swift leather. Not sure which bag, but something in Swift would look amazing with the brushed hardware. That would be so beautiful. So I know that Swift is very delicate, but I think that I feel comfortable enough owning a white bag in Swift. I don't mind about scratches. I think I'm fine with that. So I think that would be a very, very special and beautiful bag. I would also be open to like any ivory color on a vintage bag. I've seen some Kellys in box leather in like white milky colors. But other than that, I think that's it. I wouldn't go too crazy. I already think I have an irrational amount of white bags, but I love them. If you have any questions in particular about any of the bags, I don't own any of them in lambskin, but I own light colored lambskin bags and I can also tell you that they're not as delicate. So for sure, don't worry about it too much. Please let me know in the comments which one is your favorite or if you would buy a white bag or not, or if you own one, what are your thoughts? I always feel like they're the most scary bags to own in the handbag community, but let me know. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and click the notification bell down below so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're not done watching, I'm gonna leave you two videos right here in case you wanna check them out. Thank you and see you on the next one. Bye.